So in this video, we're going to solve a few questions on the concept of uptrust and arcuate principle, and we'll begin by uh, revising or going through some concepts so that that help us in solving numericals. So this is the first thing that we need to know is weight. Weight is mg mass of the body into acceleration due to gravity, and uh, mass of the body is volume of the body into density of the body. So this vb, the suffix v uh, stands here for the body. So vb and rho b. So when we have v b, it will mean the total volume of the body. And when we have rho b, this rho b, that is the density of the body. So mass is volume into density. Therefore, we get this equation for v b rho b g. And we will use this equation frequently when we solve questions on uptrust and after this principle. Similarly, upthrust, which will denote by F B buoyant force, therefore F B is given by V I, where V I is the immersed volume. Very important to note here, we have got the total volume of the body here, whereas here we have the immersed volume of the body into density of the fluid rho F and G. As far as the units are concerned, now this particular table you should understand very well so that you not make a mistake in the units. If now in both these equations we have v rho and g so let's say this is v rho g if you take volume in meter cube if you take density in kg per meter cube and g we multiply 9.8 then we will get the unit of force as newton so this is very important to understand we have to maintain these things meter cube kg per meter cube 9.8 to get newton conversely if force is given to us as newton then we should have the volume in meter cube density in kg per meter cube and we should multiply by 9.8 to get a correct answer and the second thing is if we have meter cube kg per meter cube and let's say if we don't multiply by 9.8 we we'll get the unit as kgf so these are si units these two if we want to deal in cgs units then volume is supposing in centimeter cube density is given in gram per centimeter cube we don't multiply by g then the unit that we will get is gf gram force which is kilogram force if you have volume in centimeter cube density in gram per centimeter cube and if you take g as 980 centimeter per second square please know that we are dealing with cgs units so we should take centimeter per second square not meter per second square then you will get the units as dynes but generally we prefer to do it with si units so we will use the first option to the extent possible Last thing that I want to mention is something very fundamental which you already know probably but I want to simply mention it over here. If the mass of a body is let us say 6 kg, then the weight of the body is 6 kg f. So whatever is the mass, same number is the kg f, kg force. In Newton it is 6 into 9.8. So this is very very important to understand. The weight 6 kg f means the weight of the object is 6 into 9.8 Newton and the mass is 6 kg. Let us begin with the first question. The first question says that volume of the body is 100 centimeter cube. And it says a body of volume 100 centimeter cube weighs 5 kg. So weight is given to us as 5 kg. It is completely immersed in a liquid. Completely immersed, therefore, immersed volume and the volume of the body are same. Pi and Vb are same. Density of the liquid is 1.8 into 10 raised to 3 kg per meter cube, that is 800 kg per meter cube. We have been asked to find out upthrust and weight of the body inside the liquid. Now, if you look at upthrust, upthrust is Vi rho Fg. So, let us put the values. Volume is 100 centimeter cube. Now, we should convert this into meter cube. So, we will use 100 into 10 raised to minus 6. How did we get this? Because we know that 1 meter is 100 centimeter. And therefore, 1 meter cube will be 100 raised to 3 centimeter cube. And therefore, 1 centimeter cube is, or let me write that before that, 10 raised to 6 centimeter. So, 1 centimeter cube will be 10 raised to minus 6 meter cube. Therefore, 10 raised to minus 6. Density of the fluid, 800 and G 9.8. Plus all this, I will get 1.764 Newton. If you have been asked to find out the unit in kgf, then basically we don't have to multiply 9.8 over here. As I mentioned over here, if you multiply by 9.8, you get Newton. If you don't multiply 9.8, you get kg. So if you have been asked to find out the unit, don't multiply with this 9.8 and you will get 0.18 kg. Let me mention it over here. You get 0.18 kg. 
KGF as the answer. As the book mentions this answer, therefore I have explained it over here. Next is apparent weight. Apparent weight is weight of the body minus up plus. Weight of the body is 5 KGF, that means 5 into 9.8 Newton minus up thrust we have already calculated 1.764 Newton. So you will get 47.236 Newton. And again, if you want this answer in KGF, you can divide this by 9.8 and you will get 4.2 KGF. I am solving question number 3 which says that a solid of density 5000 kg per meter cube weighs 0.5 kg. So density of the body is 5000 kg and it weighs 0.5 kg that means 0.5 into 9.8 Newton which will be equal to 4.9 Newton. It is completely immersed in water so Vb is Vi. Density of the fluid is given to us as 1000 kg per meter cube. Calculate the apparent weight of the solid in water. Now apparent weight is again W minus FB, W is given to us already 0.5 into 9.8 that is 4.9 Newton. Up thrust is VI rho FG. Rho F is given to us, G we know is 9.8. We have not been given volume of the body directly over here. But we know that volume of the body is equal to W upon rho BG because weight of the body is VB rho BG. If we go back to our list of formula. We can see over here W is equal to VB rho BG. So VB will be equal to W over rho BG. And that's what we have done over here. Up thrust is VI rho FG. But VI is equal to VB in this case. Therefore for VI I can write VB. And VB is W upon rho BG. So GG will get cancelled. W is 4.98. Density of the body is given to us as 5000 kg per meter cube over here. So, and if I solve this, I will get 4.5 into 4.9, that will give me apparent weight as 3.92 Newton or 0.4 kg if I divide this by 9.8. So, in this question, what was in, what is important to learn is that this part, the most volume is equal to volume of the body and the volume of the body is W upon rho Vg. So, I want to mention that over here that when, and that's possible because Vb is equal to Vi. If it is completely immersed, if this condition is there, then VI will be equal to VB and VB equal to W by rho BG. So this is something which you should keep in mind. Please note that this is possible only when VB equal to VI. VB equal to VI, so VI is VB and that is VB rho BG. Okay, let's make, let's uh, look at one more question. I am looking at a question on the metal cube. A metal cube of 5 cm edge. So, length of the metal cube is 5 cm and it has density 9 gram per cm cube. So, density of the body, density of the body is 9 gram per cm cube is suspended by a thread so as to be completely immersed in a liquid of density 1.2 gram per cm cube. So, it is completely immersed, so I can write down Vi is equal to Vb. is given to us. Liquid density 1.2 gram per centimeter. Density of the fluid 1.2 grams per centimeter cube. Find the tension in the thread G is equal to 10 meter per second square. So in this case, we have a situation something like this. That we have, let's say, a container. And this container is liquid and we have this cube inside this and this is suspended. So when it is suspended, the weight will be acting in the downward direction, of thrust will act in the upward direction and the tension in the thread, the tension in the thread will be equal to the apparent weight W minus FB. So tension in the thread is W minus F. So this will be equal to, now we have been given centimeter and gram per centimeter cube. So what we will do is we will deal this question using centimeter cube, gram per centimeter cube and GF. So 
let's try this out question in that particular question now tension in the thread is w minus ft so this will be volume of the body density of the body minus vi rho f now what is the volume of the body and what is the immersed volume both are same so i can write down vb rho b minus rho f because vb and v v i are same is equal to what is the volume of the body this is a cube and its length is 5 centimeter so the volume of the body will be 5 into 5 into 5 centimeter cube please note that this is centimeter so i'll get here 5 into 5 into 5 centimeter cube density of the body is 9 gram per centimeter cube density of the fluid is 1.2 grams per centimeter cube that will give me 125 into this will be 7.8 and this will give me a value of 125 into 7.8 that will be 975 975 gm and if you want to convert it into newton we know that 9.7 will be equal to 0.975 kg f and 9.7.975 into 10 i am taking 10 because we have been asked to take g as 10 so 9.7.7 into 10 newton and that will give me a value of 9.75 newton so as you would have realized it is very important that we deal with the units very well and therefore I had done a summary of units before and before solving the numerical. Let us take uh, one more question and this is question number 9 given the textbook and it is dealing with uh, a block of wood is floating on water with its dimensions 50 into 50 into 50 inside water. So, we have been given that the block of wood is floating inside water. So, we have the case of floating and Vi is given to us as 50 into 50 into 50 centimeter cube. Calculate the buoyant force acting on the block Fb is to be found out and G is to be taken as 9.8 liter per second. So, we want to find out up thrust. So, again, we will use the equation Fb is equal to Vi rho F. Volume of the body is 50 into 50 into 50 centimeter cube. Density of water. Density of water, we know density of fluid is 1 gram per centimeter cube. We know density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube or it is also given as 1000 kg per meter but since this is centimeter cube i am using 1 gram per centimeter cube 1 and this will be gf and if i want to convert this into newtons what i'll do is 50 into 50 into 50 into 50 if I divide it by 1000, I'll get kgf, and if I multiply by 9.8, I'll get newton. So this is another thing which you should remember that if you have gf, first convert it into kgf by dividing by 1000, and then multiply kgf by 9.8, you get a newton. So let's solve this. I'll get three zeros, so I'll get 125 into 9.8. So what is that equal to? 125 multiplied by 9.8 will give me 1225 newtons 1225 newton let me take a last question this is question number 10 a body of mass 3.5 kg so mass is 3.5 kg so i know from this that the weight is 3.5 kg f or 3.5 kg into 9.8 newton displaces 1000 centimeter cube of water when fully immersed in it 
Now, this is very important. It's written that this body displaces 1000 centimeter cube of water when fully immersed. It. When fully immersed. Now, what does this mean? It displaces 1000 centimeter cube of water when it is fully immersed in it. That means the immersed volume is 1000 centimeter cube and that will also be equal to the volume of the body because it is fully immersed. If I try to show it with the help of a diagram, let us say we have this container, it is filled with water. When I immerse this object, let us say we have an object, when I immerse this object completely inside this, it displaces that means the water level will rise say for example and the volume of the water level this increased level this volume is 1000 centimeter cube because and this volume which is displaced will be equal to the volume of this body so vi is also vb and that is also equal to 1000 centimeter cube so we have been given this calculate the volume of the body we have found out the volume of body to be 1000 centimeter cube the upthrust on the body and the apparent weight now we can again use those equations fp is equal to vi rho fg immersed volume 1000 density of the water is 1 so if i don't multiply it by g this is centimeter cube this is 1 gram per centimeter cube i'll get 1000 gf as the upthrust which i can also write as 1 kg 1000 grams is 1 kg so 1 kg so of course is 1 kg we have been asked to find out the apparent weight the apparent weight is is equal to w minus f weight is given to us as 3.5 kg f minus apparent weight is 1 kg f so that will give me a value of 2.5 kg so with this uh, I think now you have got a good idea about how to handle questions on upthrust and Archimedes principle. I think the main thing to remember is these four blocks that I have shown over here. And if you use and understand these four blocks, you will be able to solve nearly any question on upthrust and Archimedes principle. Thank you.